Adam's Practice Diary. And this week, I just want to finish off a thought that I was having last week. So last week we were talking about jazz chord progressions, and particularly I was using that one, three, four, five progression. Um, and mostly I was focusing on just applying some jazz voicings to that chord progression, but they were mostly diatonic voicings, meaning I was mostly using what I would call inside notes, notes from within the parent scale of the harmony. So if I was in the key of E major, I was using notes from E major. Now this week, I just want to talk through a few of those kind of non-diatonic or outside note options that you can use, um, just to, so you can kind of get a bit of my thought process. So uh, we'll stick in the key of E, just because it's nice to use the open strings as the root notes. Um, so you're starting with an E major chord, that's your chord one, that's a pretty diatonic voicing of an E major seven chord. Uh, the only kind of outside note I could really add in there would be a sharp 11, sounds quite cool. Um, so moving on to the chord three, now diatonic harmony would tell us that chord three should be G sharp minor seven, and that's what most of my, my voicings last week were. Now I did mention that there's a there's an interesting jazz variation of playing a dominant seventh chord on that chord three, which in this case would be G, uh, G sharp seven and I'm adding in the uh, flat 13 on top. Now that sounds like an outside note, but it's actually not. The flat 13 is E, which is, you know, we're in the key of E, so that's a very inside note. The, the note here, which is actually the outside note, is the third, the major third, because it should be a minor chord, not a major chord, according to diatonic harmony. But it's an interesting jazz device. Think about the jazz standard Someday My Prince Will Come, the opening chords of that. So that's like a, a G sharp 7 with a flat 13, but it's a really nice sound. Then on the 4 chord, which is A major, I'm actually playing again sharp 11. So sharp 11 there is actually a diatonic note, it's an inside note, because chord 4, Lydian, we're thinking Lydian here, it has the raised 4th, sharp 4th and 11th are basically the same, so sharp 4, sharp 11. Um, another, another option you could do there is you could go to go to chord 2 which would be F sharp minor 7 instead of chord 4 because there's a big connection between chord 2 and chord 4 they have a lot of the same notes in if you think of an F sharp minor 7 chord includes the notes of an A major triad so F sharp minor A major they're kind of interchangeable uh, and then on the 5 chord so this is where I'm taking a bit of a harmonic liberty but again this is a really cool jazz thing to do and you know jazz musicians love taking harmonic liberties it's what we do so what I'm doing here is I'm playing an altered dominant chord I'm playing a flat 13 so it's a B7 with a flat 13 now if you think about diatonic harmony that would imply we're going into the key of E minor but I'm going into the key of E major so so any kind of alteration on the dominant, like a, a sharp 9 or a, a flat 9, they're all going to imply you're going into a minor key. The regular 13, the natural 13, that would imply E major. Um, and so if you play that altered dominant going to the, the major, especially if you include the 9th, I've included a 9 there, it's got that nice little semitone drop, which is like a kind of chromatic, what a jazz musician would call a chromatic approach note. So from there to there. And it just it's just a really nice sound. So um, yeah, that's my thought processes on that one, three, four, five chord progression. I'll start to look at some more chord progressions coming up in future because there's so many of these we can do. I mean we all know one, six, two, five, two, five, ones. Jazz musicians love to come up with a million different ways of playing through these chord progressions. So I'm gonna keep doing some of these 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 chords on bass videos just because I happen to think it's really interesting and it's a great way to learn harmony on your bass. sound.